Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Kaylee May. Um, I'm a content creator, but I actually will be starting my new job this October, October 2022. Um, so I get a lot of questions about my job, which is cybersecurity consulting. And I figured I would just make a little video to kind of explain um, what it is I do, how I got into it, and any tips that I would give for anybody looking to go into something similar. Um, so to give some backstory, I just graduated this past May um, from a university in Illinois with an information systems degree. Um, now I get a lot of questions and people asking what is information systems and I think a lot of people do get it confused with computer science like people hear information systems and they're like oh you code and I'm like well I've taken coding classes but if you told me to make an app or a game or something I would definitely not be able to do that I would say I have very beginner level skills my best coding language is probably Python um, and I would say maybe I'm a little intermediate at that one but I am not a computer science major so m a majority of my classes aren't coding they're more so so that I can understand coding so I would be able to communicate with someone that does coding and be able to understand the work that they do but I would not be able to do it myself if that makes sense um so yeah i guess some backstory on me as well i did start out um at university as a finance major ew I know. Um, so I did start out as a finance major, um, took one finance class and I said, uh, no, thank you. Um, so I, then I was like, what do I want to do? It was really hard because I knew that I really wanted to be in something people facing. Like I'm a very extroverted person. Um, so I basically didn't want to sit behind a computer screen all day, but I had always loved tech. And I mean, I'm a content creator now. I stream on Twitch. I love video games. So I've been into tech a lot my whole life, um, but I never really saw myself as kind of a sitting behind a computer screen all day kind of girl. Um, even though, you know, with hybrid and everything, that's a whole different mind. But, you know, I want to interact with people in my job. And so so I wanted to work in the tech field, but I didn't want to just be sitting coding, coding, coding all day. And honestly, if I'm completely honest, I didn't really like my coding classes that much. I find coding to be very, very tedious and very detail orientated, too detail orientated for some, aka me. Um, so that's how I eventually ended up in information systems because it is the business side of technology. So I would be working, I'm basically would be, there's a lot of career paths you can do with information systems to, to start more generally. You can be a data analyst, data scientist. I mean, those are kind of the same thing. I'm personally choosing to go into cybersecurity and within cybersecurity is also there is a lot of computer science majors um, but those are the more technical cybersecurity people those are like the cybersecurity people that are like fighting against the hackers like reverse I don't even know what it like white hat hacking I'm not even sure but personally for me I don't have a ton of technical skills that hasn't been something that I really focused a lot on during my college career I want to focus a lot more on strategy and just big picture stuff I'm a very big picture person and so so that's kind of how I ended up going into cybersecurity. Um, to start at the beginning, um, I knew that I wanted to work in tech once I switched over to information systems. So my sophomore year, I really, really, really wanted to have an internship, even though it's not super common for college sophomores to get internships after their sophomore year. I really wanted one because I really wanted to like be able to stand out and get that good job post-grad. Um, unfortunately, no matter how hard I worked, I was not able to get a... Um, I was not able to get an internship my sophomore year, um, which, but it ended up working out in my favor because I did end up working with a friend on a startup company. It was super small, but I basically ended up handling all the technical st stuff. Basically, I managed the database and basically just did a lot of the background technical data stuff. Um, so that was what I actually used to talk about in my interviews for junior year when I was once again interviewing for internships my junior year. Um, so if I were to give any, any, any tips to college students, no matter what your major is, it is make sure that you have experience when you're trying to get those internships because undoubtedly that is why I did not get an internship my sophomore year was because I had no experience in anything and I know experience like when they're when, you know like those memes of it's like little kids in a workplace and it's like what what jobs do they say we want experience but experience can be anything it can be even just joining clubs having leadership positions in clubs joining clubs that have to do with your major I think really help you stand out because then you can actually talk about the things that you did but even me I was philanthropy chair for my sorority like any any kind of leadership positions and organizations I think is great but if you can get leadership positions that have to do with your major for example if you're a finance major then you probably want to be like the financial chair in your club like I think that that is better but honestly it can be anything like I said I was philanthropy but 
you just gotta be able to make anecdotes that make you sound good. And I can do another video if you guys are interested. Um, leave a comment if you do want a video on kind of interview tips and how I kind of went through interviews. I worked my butt off to polish my interview skills. So I think that I'm a pretty good interviewee. I think that is how I got my internship on top of my experience working at the startup. And so yeah, I was honestly pretty transparent when I started looking for my internship uh, junior year. I would go, I think that sophomore year, this is another thing that helped me back was I was trying so so hard to be the perfect candidate. I was like, I'm amazing. You should hire me because I'm amazing and I have all the skills that you need. And I'm just so, so, so amazing. But junior year, honestly, I think I was a little more transparent. Um, I knew that I wanted to work in tech and this is basically what I told them. I, first things first though, I did, okay. I was a little, I was a little of a try hard. I made a huge spreadsheet of all the companies that I was interested in interning for and kept track of all the events they were hosting. You don't have to make like a whole spreadsheet, but keep track, especially if your college is having events with these companies companies like that's so much better than going to nationwide events where you have to compete with people from all over the states now you're only competing with people from your school which is obviously a lot smaller of a group so these companies would host networking events at my university this was during covid um so all of the events were online honestly i think it made it easier for me because i didn't have to like run around campus going to all these different events i could just go from one zoom meeting to another um but yeah go to every single networking event that you can go to like i cannot stress how important networking is like you can be the perfect candidate for a job have the perfect resume and still not get it because somebody had better networking skills than you and so you what you want to do is you want to go to every networking event that you can it doesn't even like i don't know you basically want to go and you want to try your very hardest to talk to whoever so usually at these networking events they will have a few like employees and then there'll be like a lot more students so you want to make sure that you're standing out and by doing so i think that it's best to be transparent because everybody is like trying to put on this perfect little facade of why they're the perfect, perfect, perfect person to hire for this internship. Um, but like I said, I think I was more transparent. Um, the person that I met with, um, he was very nice and there was no camera, so it was just voice. I think it was a little harder because personally, I like seeing people's facial expressions when I'm talking to them. Um, but nonetheless, it was all just like voice chat and um, I was pretty honest. I was like, hey, I really like tech. I think it's super cool, but honestly, I don't want to sit behind a computer screen all day. Even though I've taken coding classes, they haven't been my absolute favorite. Um, I'm just much more of a bigger person. I like the people side of things. And he was like, have you ever thought of consulting? And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> and he was basically saying, he was like, I think that that would be a perfect fit for you. A lot of people who don't know what they want to go into end up going into consulting because it's very broad. You, as a consultant, you basically work on a lot of different engagements. Um, so engagements can last anywhere from a few weeks to a few months to even more than a year. I don't know. It depends on the engagement. So you get a lot of variety in what you're doing. And each engagement that you work on is super different. You get a lot of experience. You usually are working on different teams for each engagement as well. Um, so I think that consulting ended up being a very good fit for me because I didn't exactly know. And I think that me being honest during those networking events and being like, hey, I don't really know specifically what I want to do. I know that I want to go into tech. I know that these are my strengths and these are my weaknesses, but I don't really know what direction. Usually like people love that. People love like being able to give you advice. At least in my experience, like all the people I talked to, like it was so much better when I was like kind of being like, eh, I don't really know what to do than being like, I know exactly what I want to do. Because then when you are like not super, like I don't want to say like don't sound motivated and driven. Of course, like don't come off as like, like having no goals or anything but i think that people love giving advice especially when it comes to an industry that they're working in because those people at the networking events had infinitely more knowledge about cybersecurity consulting than i never would so i never even thought to go into cybersecurity consulting essentially until after these networking events that i went to um and so once i did that um it was actually so helpful every single networking event i went to i would make sure that i got the name and email of the person that i talked to and um it was a little easier for zoom because sometimes you could like look them up and i would always long story short i would always 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 look them up on linkedin now i know that you can send an email and sometimes i would send follow-up emails too but personally i liked connecting with them on linkedin um because then once you connect with them on linkedin like you kind of like can see their posts like i don't know i think it's a little more casual than just like communicating over email plus heaven knows how many emails they get so i would usually look these people up on linkedin send them a connection and i would always like format my my messages like hey blank it was really nice talking to you about xyz like you want to bring up the things that you talked about so they remember who you are it was really nice talking to you about xyz um thank you so much like and then usually like 
you would want to like ask some kind of question um i would like because it was the application process i was like oh like i was wondering if i could send over my resume to have you take a look over it before i submitted my application or something like that and the guy that i met at the networking event um i met about i met i went to other networking events so i did meet other people too but um one person like really st like ended up being like the clutch so you'll meet a lot of people at networking events but you need to find like that one person that's the clutch in my opinion because he ended up helping me reformat my resume like gave me tips for the interview all of these things lots of really helpful things and he ended up being my manager later on when I worked for my internship so these networking connections that seem like they're so casual like I think a lot of people just don't really take networking events very seriously they think about oh what questions should I be asking rather than like actually talking with the people but when you form a genuine connection I think it really helped and so I did end up getting my internship um, it was amazing um, my internship was virtual which personally I thought was kind of a bummer because you know what it made me sit behind a computer screen all day so um, I think I would have enjoyed my internship a lot more if it was in person which luckily when I go back in October um, it will be in person um, but I can be able, I can give some more specifics on also what I did so for my internship obviously there was a lot of training because I was a noob and I absolutely and I knew nothing but th the thing that was great was that they didn't expect you to know anything like they were so nice they were like anything that you need to know we're gonna train you on anyways so don't feel stressed out if you feel like it's a lot they just kept saying the phrase drinking from a fire hose which is essentially what it is like when you start but um, what I did specifically was I was a cybersecurity consultant and I worked specifically within the strategy and governance team which means that I helped I worked on an engagement so my whole internship was one engagement and um, the engagement that we worked on we were basically helping a company redo all of their cybersecurity policies so strategy and governance works in think of it as the prevention aspect of cybersecurity so you're making sure that these companies Companies have good cybersecurity policies in place before anything bad happens. There's like other teams, there's like the response team, which is like they respond if a company gets hacked. There was like the transition team, which like helps companies like actually, I don't even know, but basically I'm on like the policy side, which basically means like a lot of meetings you're meeting, like we would have, I would be sitting in with meetings with people in the C-suite. So I'd be getting to listen to all these high up people and you're working like directly with these people to make sure that they have good procedures in place and also understanding the needs of their companies because some companies need to have tighter or different cybersecurity procedures than others. Um, I'm not going to act like I'm a professional and know a ton about all this stuff considering that I did just do an internship, but I think that I got a lot of valuable experience. And even if it was like, I don't know, it, it was it was a very interesting experience because I never really had like a professional corporate job like that. And so I think that adjusting to all the little things um, is, is easy, is a lot easier said than done. But I do think that it was a very good experience for me. I think that consulting ended up being a perfect thing for me to go into. Um, I absolutely loved it. It was very, it was very people focused, which is what I was looking for. It was a lot of meetings, like I said, meeting with your team, meeting with the client. Um, also a lot of reading and writing documents, um, kind of that more nitty gritty stuff. I wasn't intern so which means I did have to do a lot more of the stuff that people didn't want to do but personally I didn't mind it I think it kind of helped break up my day because the meetings would be like me trying to get all the notes that I can and then I can kind of relax and I was doing the more like paperwork type of stuff um, but yeah overall that's what I did and how I got my job um, so yeah after my internship obviously I got a full time obviously but I got a full time after after my internship so that's where I will be returning to I can for sure go more into what cybersecurity consulting is if you guys care in like another video once I start working. But yeah, I only have my experience to talk about from my internship, which I think was great. And like I said, networking, 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 even during my internship, I was working really hard to network. I would set up one on one coffee chats with people all the time and I would be meeting with people that would that would not sp basically when you're an intern, you want to milk it because you are going to be able to meet with people as an intern that they are not going to meet with you when you're an associate, which is so funny because you think it's the other way around but a lot of times the people in the higher up positions like the managers or directors like they like talking with interns because they want to like you know give their experience but once you're an associate it's like you're already working there and you're probably not even going to get the opportunity to meet with people so if you get an internship milk it make sure that you're making the most out of it as you can make those connections like i said i would set up these coffee chats with people because i wanted to i know that i eventually want to specialize most people don't stay in consulting their whole career like most people end up specializing and so i would kind of like be setting up with people in different tech departments and also in different teams within the cybersecurity department to hear about their job and things that i didn't get to get during the interview process before my internship so just make sure you're talking with people and be really genuine i think that it's very easy to tell when someone's being really fake like 
what does success in this role look like? Which of course it's good to ask those questions during an interview and whatnot, but when you're networking, like you're actually, you want to be focused on like actually like, I don't know, making good connections and you might end up meeting somebody cool in the process who helps make this whole thing so much easier. Um, so yeah, I hope I answered any questions. I can definitely answer any more questions in the comments if you guys want. And I can make another video on interview tips that I have. Like I said, I really, really, really worked hard to polish my interview skills um, because I really wanted a good job like most people. And um, so yeah, I can totally make another video if you guys want, but also feel free to just ask questions in the comments. I will be responding to all the ones that I can. This is my personal YouTube channel. And if you guys like kind of school or professional type content like this, I can definitely make more for that. Um, but of course, let me know what kind of stuff you want um thank you guys so 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 much for watching um if you're new here uh subscribe please 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 subscribe no, i'm just kidding um but i would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed it does help a lot and um i really want to start making more youtube content for you guys okay thank you so much all right see you next time guys bye